Today we uh, have to listen the Mitta Sutta, uh, expounded by the Lord Buddha. This Mitta Sutta is quite familiar to a majority of the devotees. This Sutta is of paramount importance for the Buddhists and it has become an indispensable Sutta Dhamma when reciting prayers and various kinds of uh, uh, prayers which are usually chanted on the occasion of religious function to what of the influence of evil uh, spirits and transmitting loving kindness to all beings thereby is sending us also a contemporary message of uh, goodwill. If offering or gifts are accepted while reciting this Mitta Sutta, and by developing Mitta at the same time, uh, immense advantages can be obtained by the donors and devotees. So it is necessary for the monks, for the vehicles to seriously study uh, so as to grasp the meaning and significance of this Mitta Sutta. <clears throat> and practice should be made to be able to recite this Sutta correctly and precisely with a smooth flow and without making any error in punctuation. Then while reciting this sutta, metta should also be developed. This manner of performance would bring benefits to himself the reciter and also the donors. Now we have to make a clear exposition of this Mitta Sutta, commencing from the first stanza in the body of this Sutta. The preliminary gathas of this Sutta were two yasanuva watoyaka etc and sukha supati sutoja the first stanza means in regard to this metta sutta because of its supernatural power of efficacy the guardian angels of the trees we refrain from displaying the dreadful or horrible sensation and they will not make them manifest us. And if this Mitta Sutta were recited both day and night without laziness the yogi who is devoting oneself to the recitation of the sutta 
we have a happy or comfortable sleep. And why sleeping? Not a single bad or hideous dream will come into his sleeping vision. So it is accomplished or endowed with such uh, advantages and noble attributes. This Mita Sutta uh, should be recited. So these two gata or stanza are the preliminary hymns of praise composed by the Bami Sero, or the teacher of the ancient times. And they are handed down to us by tradition. So these are expressed in verses to be recited in the form of a universal goodness with a rhythm simultaneously. By those individuals who will do the recitation. And the introduction of this soda also contains words of praise eulogizing its noble attributes. Moreover, this eulogy serves as an introduction to the Sota, indicating that by virtue of the attributes of this noble Sota, the Roka Dewa, the guardian Dewas of the trees, will neither make a display of horrible senses, no strike terror into the hearts of the people. So how it happened? So we have to listen the, 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 that, that, that story. At one time, Lord Boda was residing at the Jedawana Monastery in the city of Sawiti. At that time, 500 bhikkhus, after taking instruction from the uh, Lord Boda on the method of practicing uh, Kamatana meditation, then they went out in search of a suitable uh, place and a village where donors should be uh, available. Then they reached a mountain where lakes were in abundance at the fringe of the Himalayas. The place was very beautiful and it is uh, very peaceful and clean and refreshingly cool. The environment is very favorable to practice. So these 500 monks stay for one night at this place. And early the next morning, they visited a village in a neighborhood to seek for arms. This village was fairly large with 1,000 dwelling houses. The villagers were generous and hospitable. They offered meals to all 500 bhikkhus and also requested them to spend their wasa at their place. They also donated a, a small kuti to each and every one of the bhikkhus.
to enable them to live in peace and meditate singly. So they provided them with benches and footstools for sitting, water pots, etc. There is really forest, uh, forest, uh, forest center. So on the following day, they proceeded to another village. The villagers of the place similarly requested the bhikkhus to reside at their place for a period of wasa. After they had offered the meat. So these monks agreed to stay as requested, but they made a remark that it would be better if this place were free from dangers. Later, these monks carried on practicing meditation day and night continuously. At the grove in that forest area, situated in close proximity to the village. So these monks were virtuous. They have sila and owing to the influential effects of the power of the bhikkhus who are endowed with morality sila, the Rokhadeva, the guardian angels of the trees in the forest area, they are not reside in their abodes. So these Rokhadeva, the guardian devas of the tree, they came down from, from their abodes and taking along with them their young children. Then they had to be moving about here and there. So these Rokhadeva, the guardian angels of the trees were therefore watching out from a good distance with embarrassment. They wondering when these Nuba Begus would be leaving the place. They watching from a distance. <clears throat> Later, they understood these bhikkhus would no doubt be staying in for a period of three months during the wasa. So we, with our children, cannot possibly remain outside our abodes for a long time. So they said, It would be advisable to create horror and dreadful sights to frighten the monks away. So implementing their uh, idea into action, the Rokadewa guardian angels of the tree created themselves in the guise of ogres during night time while the monks were meditating. And they stood in front of the bhikkhus, making themselves visible, causing weird sound and hideous noise. So terrible. So having had these uncanny sound and seen horrible sights, these bhikkhus were all stricken with fear. Their hearts 
dropped and their complexion turned pale. And the mind of the bakers became restless with worry and fright. So they became miserable. So at that time, foul smell were emitted by the Rokadeva, a guardian angels of the trees. So this state of condition had caused the monks great embarrassment and suffering. So the commentary mentioned that Dina Dogandina Nimitiya Manamiwa Matalonga Hosi. The commentary say. So this expression comes very close to the view of the medical doctors. It may be said that they had suffered severely from headache because of the false smell. Despite this pain and suffering, all begus remain silent with great patience without letting one another know about what had really happened. So the eldest uh, Martira uh, noticed that point. So one day, the eldest Martira asked each and every one of the monks made a candid disclosure of their own respective personal experience they had gone through. Then the eldest of the monks, Martira, expressed his opinion. Oh, my friends, if that is the case, this place may be considered as unsuitable for us to stay and continue practicing meditation. So let us proceed to the Lord Buddha and respectfully tell him of the state of affairs. Let us uh, tell Lord Buddha our problem. And then we shall, uh, we shall go other, uh, our place of residence to uh, some other suitable spot for the rest of the uh, Piriyarawasa, Pichimawasa. So thereafter, they all came over to the enlightened book one. And they tried to seek instruction to direct them to a suitable and proper place, which would be more suitable to practice meditation. So after hearing that, Lord Bora reflected their condition. On reflection being made as to which place would be most appropriate for these bhikkhus, Buddha had found, Buddha did not find no place within the whole region of Zabudipa suitable for the purpose of meditation other than the place where they had recited. So Buddha ordered them, Bhikkhus, return to the forest retreat from where you had come. And 
And then Buddha gave the, the advice, Bhikkhus, you should learn this Mita Sutta Prata if you all wish to escape from the dangers caused by the Rokadeva, guardian angels of the tree. This Mita Sutta would serve as a deterrent to the perils and dangers caused by those Rokadeva, guardian angels of the tree. It would also help towards better realization of the Dharma in the practice of Kamatana. Furthermore, the commentary stated the advice given by the Lord Buddha. So there are eight days occupied in preaching and listening to the sermon. These are waxing and warning days of the faith, 8, 14, and 15. All together, eight days in a month. So Buddha said, this Mita Sutta should be uttered in these days. First, you must uh, beat the wooden drum and when the monks assemble, you have to recite this Sutta and go on preaching this sutta. You should discuss this uh, sutta. And this prata be expressed with great rejoicing. And this metta meditational exercise be relied upon. And also this sutta sh should be developed and be done or performed several times. And these devas or celestial beings of the, God, uh, the trees will cause you no such dreadful sights and they will not make a display and they will not strike a terror in your hearts. So these advice were given by the Lord Buddha. After taking instruction from the Buddha, these bhikkhus returned to their former place in the forest where their kuti uh, stood. So these monks stay on in that place, practicing meditation and reciting Mita Sutta according to the preaching of the Lord Buddha. Now the deities of the, uh, the trees, Rokadeva, felt that these Nova Bhikkhus are sympathetic and they are really bent upon bestowing upon us a lot of advantages by developing Mita. And Guardian Devas were so pleased and happy that they even assisted the monks in every way possible to fulfill their needs. Under these favorable circumstances, all these monks, after developing metta and indulging in the practice of vipassana based upon metta jhana, and they all were uh, attained araship, reaching the stage of ratapala during that period of vasa.
So we need to understand these uh, bhikkhus who are practicing meditation, uh, applying uh, applying uh, two things, kanti and mitta. So what you understand the difference of kanti and mitta, kanti patient and mitta loving kindness. Kanti is uh, contrary to anger. No anger, absence of anger. Kanti is able to endure any kinds of provocation and to remain calm without anger and doing evil. You restrain, you restrain, and then you accepting or you know, uh, encountering, uh, encountering states. Titeka, titeka, that means restrain and accepting every states. And Mita, Mita is similar to Kanti. Loving kindness is similar to patient, but Mita is more significant. Far reaching in meditating than patient. So Mita absorbs the quality of goodwill rejoicing with other people's happiness not only the restraint you need to react you need to radiate you need to transmit uh, the the happiness of that person so there is a difference between kanti and mitta So all these monks became Arahan and as such in the commencement of the verse, eulogizing the virtue of this Mitasuddha, it mentioned that in view of the powerful influence of the noble attribute of this Mitabrata, The guardian devas of the trees had refrained themselves from displaying uh, or exhibiting horrible sights to frighten the monks. And the third line in the first stanza contains the words Anuyong Jando. A new young gender that denotes practicing. This expression alone in itself does not convey the sense to simply do the recitation of the Mitta Sutta. The intention probably is to refer to the practicing of Mitta Bhavana, that is, developing Mitta through practical meditation. It is because in the Mitta Sutta, where 11 advantages of Mitta Bhavana are enumerated, it has been stated that these are the advantages of Mitta, Chitta Vimoti. The expression Mitta Chitta Vimoti could not possibly have reference to mere requirement of recitation only. Only Apnajana is Mitta Chitta Vimoti. So this has been clearly explained in Ingodara commentary. So if advantages such as, as Sukhan Subhuti, you can sleep w well, has the benefits of a sound sleep, 
etc. are desirable, metta sh should also be developed. In addition to making recitation and the first stanza of this Mita Prata is Karaniya Matagusalina. If you want to dwell penetrating the state of uh, uh, Nirvana and if you if you are skilled in your goods, you should practice the three training. And the gist of this stanza is, if a person who fully knows the real advantages that can be accrued, if desirous of achieving a realization of the blissful Nirvana, that yogi must invariably indulge himself in the practice of sila, morality, samadhi concentration, and wisdom, pinya. And he or she must be capable of taking up this practice. What is indicated by this expression is that if you wish to be liberated from all misery and suffering, you should have the ability to practice sila, samadhi, and pinya without any regard of your own self or material body to the extent of sacrificing your own life. To amplify a bit more, it may be stated as resembling, waddling. He realized the worldly advantages that can be derived is striving to acquire the best advantage under the given circumstances, either by way of earning his livelihood as an agriculturist or traders or computer technicians or public servants. Just as gold, silver and other kinds of properties will be of benefit to him in the pursuit of this worldly business affairs, In our long journey through samsara, what are the great benefits? The great benefits to us in the pursuit of our worldly uh, business affairs, sila, samadhi, and pinya are really best advantages to be gained in our long journey through samsara. So these are the essential things to be practiced and acquired. In the least, if he is accomplished in his sila moral conduct, he will not go down to the realms of apaya, lower states. Instead, he is sure to reach the world of human beings and celestial beings where pleasant and favorable conditions prevail. And if you could attain jhana samadhi, you will be elevated to a happy life existence in the abode of Brahmas, where your lifespan Last for eons. 
And if you are accomplished with vipassana inside knowledge and has fully achieved Sotapati Megapala, Yogi will forever be free from landing of the in the four uh, lower states. Later, you will enter into Prinibana on your on your demise. After attainment of Araship and after having been reborn in the abodes of Sukhati, good realms for not only then, not more than seven existences. And if you accomplish with Arata Megapala Jnana, you will totally escape from the woes and worries of life. That is, there will be no more future life existence for yogi. So that is the reason why Sila, Samadhi, Pinya are the real advantages in so far as samsara is concerned. So these attributes should be gained through the practice of meditation. So such being the case, Yogi who is thoroughly proficient in the practice of sila, etc., should be capable of exercising vipassana meditation with complete understanding. It is a practice which should invariably be performed without any misgiving that these higher morality and learning are difficult to be practiced. So yogi should not feel disappointed that realization of insight knowledge is not within uh, my reach. Yogi should not feel disappointed. And also yogi should, uh, yogi should And yogi should not uh, find fault with it and feel that it would perhaps be better and happy for him to avoid taking a training in the practice and that the practice of samadhi bhavana is difficult and tiresome. So yogi should not give it up through indolence and weakness. So we need to understand genuine advantages are sila, samadhi, and pinya. Genuine advantages, sila, samadhi, pinya, be fully grasped with keen proficiency. Having understood in this way, yogi should be capable of practicing meditation leading to the acquirement of advantages. And this is a very important word. So when Buddha was about to Enter Brinivana, Buddha reminded to, to accomplish in, in that point. So what is the last words of the Buddha? Apamadina Sambadita. Vayadama Singara Apamadina Sambadita. So that is Buddha reminder. Because I call upon you, here is my last words. Last advice to you, 
where you are Sinkara, all conditioned things are subject to dissolution. Apamadina Sambadita accomplish your three training with Apamada with mindfulness. So everything is not reliable because they are dissolving all the time. So all Nama Rupa processes are not reliable. The reli uh, reliable things is Nibbana. It is really reliable. So to gain the kinds of Nibbana, Yogi should uh, accomplish the tree training with Apamada, mindfulness. And if you practice meditation and you become Sotabana and Sagaragami, how many training you accomplish? Only one. One. If you become Sotabana and Sagaragami, you are totally accomplished with Sila. And you are, you are partially accomplished with concentration and wisdom, partially. If you become a Nagami, how many training you are accomplish? Two. Yeah. If you become a Nagami, you are accomplish totally with Sila and Samadhi, morality and concentration. And if you become Arhan, how many training? Three. That is Sila and Samari, Sila, Samari and Binya uh, you accomplish with when you become Arahan. So because of this Buddha uh, reminded you, you accomplish with three training with Apamada mindfulness. So the last verse of the Buddha, can you follow me? Anta dani, pick away, amande ami wo, weya dama, singkara, apamadina, sampadita. I call upon you. Here is my last advice to you. All conditioned things are subject to dissolution. Accomplish, uh, accomplish your three trainings with Apamada. So that is the last words of the Buddha. The Buddha reminded Apamada in Asambarita, you should uh, accomplished with three training. So in the Mita Sutta, it is mentioned that Karaniya, Karaniya may you should uh, uh, practice uh, three trainings. So we continue next week. So the, it is uh, it is uh, all for today. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.
Iti maya disaya Yeah. Uh-huh. 
sada Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu.